What if I told you that a simple medical instrument you see slung around every doctor's neck was born out of discomfort and necessity? Yes, the humble stethoscope, a device that has become synonymous with the medical profession, has a fascinating history and evolution. The journey of the stethoscope began in France in the year 1816. At the Necker Enfance Maladies Hospital in Paris, a man named René Lenec found himself in a bit of a predicament. He was hesitant to place his ear directly onto a woman's chest to listen to her heart. This discomfort led to the birth of the stethoscope. Lenek discovered that a rolled piece of paper, acting as a conduit between the patient's chest and his ear, could amplify heart sounds. His device, initially just a wooden tube, was manorial and bore a striking similarity to the common ear trumpet, a historical form of hearing aid. He named his invention the stethoscope, meaning chest scope, and its use was called mediate auscultation, because it allowed auscultation with a tool intermediate between the patient's body and the physician's ear. The stethoscope's design saw significant changes in the following years. In 1829, the first flexible stethoscope may have been born, featuring a binaural instrument with articulated joints. Then, in 1840, Golding Bird described a stethoscope he had been using with a flexible tube. However, Bird's stethoscope only had a single earpiece. The year 1851 saw the invention of a truly binaural stethoscope by Irish physician Arthur Leard. Following this, in 1852, George Philip Cammon perfected the design of the stethoscope for commercial production. This design, which used both ears, has remained the standard ever since. Cammon also authored a major treatise on diagnosis by auscultation, made possible by the refined binaural stethoscope. By 1873, there were even descriptions of a differential stethoscope that could connect to slightly different locations to create a slight stereo effect, although this did not become a standard tool in clinical practice. Somerville Scott Allison presented his invention of the stethophone at the Royal Society in 1858. The stethophone, with two separate bells, allowed the user to hear and compare sounds derived from two discrete locations. This invention was used to conduct definitive studies on binaural hearing and auditory processing, advancing knowledge of sound localization and ultimately leading to an understanding of binaural fusion. The stethoscope's evolution is a testament to human ingenuity and the constant quest for better ways to understand and heal the human body. From a wooden tube to a sophisticated diagnostic tool, the stethoscope has not only revolutionized the medical profession, but has also become an enduring symbol of healing and care. It goes to show that sometimes, necessity truly is the mother of invention.